Hello, how are you all? Wow, I can't believe um, how well the last video sort of turned out. Um, and I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for all of your comments. Um, and of course, a massive hello to all the new subscribers as well. It truly, truly does mean the world to me that you've, you know, subscribed to my channel. So thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, right, as promised, um, I am going to be doing an oriental journal um, but I'm kind of doing it a little bit different to what I originally planned I'm going to put a lot more sort of thought into the actual cover of it so I'll go more into what I'm sort of planning for the journal but what I plan and what actually comes out can be a whole different ball game um, so I've decided that I want some clay elements for the actual cover and because it's oriental I've got these prima moulds that I've had for about a year maybe just over so one of my goals this year is to use what I've got so um, I've got these and this is a beautiful cherry blossom and I thought this would fit in really really well um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with air drying clay sometimes it sometimes works for me and sometimes doesn't so if you don't see this video going on my channel it hasn't worked so <laughs> fingers crossed it's gonna work for me okay so what my plan is, um, on the front I want some cherry blossoms to sort of go round and sort of like sweep a little bit and I don't want too much on it, I just want it to sort of be subtle but effective if you get what I mean. So I thought I want to show you what how I use the mould. Everybody's different and I'm no way near experienced in doing this, it's just you know hit and miss if it works. Um, I've used ordinary um, sort of heavier clay uh, before but I do like the hearty soft because it is literally like paper when it dries it also bends a lot easier as well so this would be perfect for on the front of uh, the journal um, it takes it's a little, I find it a little bit of a weird texture when you're working with it but hopefully it's you know it's going to be okay right first of all let's open up I've had this about three four years um it wasn't very cheap when i got it because it had not long come out but sorry about the rustling sound i should have really cut it out beforehand but let's just break some of this up i should be like this now right and all i do i hope you can sort of see all i do is i just sort of work it a little bit actually i should have took my rings off easier without the rings I don't want impressions <laughs> going into the clay okay let's do that right so all you do or all I do don't worry about this because this is actually cornflour I actually watched years ago when I was using the other clay what the best way is to sort of get it out of the moulds because I had some that did use a stick um, some of the moulds it comes out easier um, and you are okay with it and other moulds it can I find it, it just sticks especially if it's in a really intricate mould so um, I'm going to try one without I'll do a flower first um, and see how it goes I think I'll try this one here so all I do is I just break a bit off you kind of got to work quick with it because obviously you don't want to dry out but the nature of this um, clay I always find it's a little bit better um, because it is sort of more of a, a paper based um, yeah I'm just sort of reading yeah it's super lightweight it's, and it's also non-toxic as well so it's really really good so let's try it without I mean I've probably got too much clay so all I do is I just put it in yeah I've definitely got too much clay on this one so I just rip or just sort of work it in my thumb and just pull a bit out I'm not too bothered if it is too much because you, get a, you can get a rolling pin or you can get I don't know sort of anything that's rollable <laughs> I can't think a bottle even you could use a bottle um, and I'm just going to try it this way and then you can sort of just peel the bits off. I'm not too bothered if it's got the rough edges because you can actually sort of just get a, a little nail file or a bit of sandpaper or something when it's dry 
um, and sort of cut away the edges. I mean, if you can sort of do it where you can sort of just along the edges, I don't know if you can see, I'll bring it up a little bit. It's a little bit sort of frayed sort of around the edges, so all I do is I just sort of roll it in and then I can flatten it down again. I mean, like I say, I'm, I'm no expert on this and there's probably easy ways and I'm probably doing it completely wrong but this is my version of doing it so everybody does it different but I just wanted to show you that you know I'm not just all paper and journals I do like sort of doing different things as well and it might give you ideas that you can use different elements on the front of a journal as well right so that's one so we'll turn that out and that's that's the first one hope you can see that and um, like I say I know it's sort of frayed around here but that's fine I can trim that when it's dried a little bit so all I've got um, is I've just got a bit of kitchen roll and I'll just leave that sitting on a bit of kitchen roll so let's try because we want I want a nice big bit so we'll try do this it might have to go in two bits I'm not too bothered about that because it that might actually be better um, for putting it on the journal itself so I'm just going to do it like this just press it down it's pointing in that I find it difficult sometimes I know they tell you don't put a lot in it at a time which is probably my downfall because I do I do sort of show it in <laughs> as you do <laughs> let's try and roll a pin that down and one good thing about doing this as well because you actually see where the bulk of it is so let's do that yeah you can see it on. and the other thing I found about this clay as well it really doesn't take that long to dry um, I know some of the clays I use um, is it the the DAS or DAS anyway the one that you can get from like Hobbycraft or the range or the works or you know those sort of places um, that's the one I've used and I've actually still got a pack of that um, that can take oh it can take about three days depending on what it is that you've sort of done and this um, can be done well this can be dry maybe overnight sometimes it's less than that I found it, it just depends on the thickness and obviously how big the piece is as well so let's try and keep a flat back as best we can and I'll show you the paper that I'm aiming to use as well I've, I've really planned it I've, I've sort of really thought about what I want to do and how it's going to look and I'm kind of hoping it really does turn out because it's I've never done a journal like this before so I am kind of <laughs> hoping and praying that it what I can see is how it's going to turn out and if it does turn out the way that one it's going to be a miracle and two um, I think it's going to look really nice so yeah I'm really pleased I'll be really really pleased let's try and pop some bits in I love these moulds from Primark I absolutely love them I've got a couple of them actually um, I know that they've got some, they, had, they brought some more out um, that had, I think it had did, wings or a bat or something. So it was something like that anyway. And I thought, oh, that looks, that looks nice. But I'm, I'm being good. I'm trying not to spend anything this year. It's not, it's not turning out very well because I've already been sort of looking at things that I can buy. And I'm trying not to. But everybody keeps bringing out new stuff but I want to use what I've got because when I sorted out my room there was an awful lot of things that I found that I thought oh I forgot I had that and I haven't used so that's not good that is seriously not good so I hope you kind of enjoyed the video a little bit sorry if it's a bit boring sorry I'm sort of rattling away as usual but I thought if I I just wanted to do something a little bit different just to sort of show that you can you know doing journals or ephemera or and ephemera anything like that you know you've got a whole a whole array of things that you can actually do got a big bit there. I 
suppose you could get a, a knife or something like that just to clean the edges but I just use my nail it's just as good this stuff is it, it is so easy to use that's the the thing that I found with this compared to the other clay um, it's not as messy and it doesn't make your hands feel really tight you know like um, I don't know if anybody else has sort of found it when you've got clay on your hands and you, you're doing something that's sort of intricate um, and you're sort of filling a mould by the time you're done you can hardly move your hands because it's it's literally dried in um, and then obviously you're trying not to put that onto your your actual um, clay bits that you've you filled. I'm not really sure how many things I want on the front, so I think I'm going to do this one. I know I want a bird, and there's a nice bird in the other one. I definitely want the bird, but I don't know about the flowers. And I know it's going to give depth to the front of the journal, which it, I don't usually have. But that's why it's sort of different this time what I'm doing so, oh, no that's <laughs> I'm just pulling the bits that I've just filled that's not exactly what I want right I'm going to leave that at that I think because I, like I said I can trim all that down I don't mind sort of going around when it is dry and trimming the bits that I don't need with even um, just like a pair of scissors you can sort of do that it's just that I'm not I'm not very intricate work. I don't do intricate stuff really, <laughs> if I can help it. So this is this is definitely a first. I actually tried this mould when I first got it, and I thought I'd kept the bits, but I think I actually cleared them out because I was so sick of seeing stuff that I just don't use. I've I've made stuff or I've tried stuff, and it just sat there. And I thought I I, I don't want to see it. I've had enough. I've had enough of it. So. Anyway, right, so fingers crossed this is going to come out okay. And then all you do is just gently sort of turn it. Um, if it sort of breaks off in the middle, I'm not too worried because, like I said, I can, where I'm going to place it anyway, it's not going to affect it. So I just gently sort of ease it out. Come on, please don't stick. Don't want to put pressure on you, otherwise I'm going to lose the detail. Oh, this is the bit that's tricky when you get to the stem. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. That's worked perfect. How pretty is that? The detail on it is absolutely amazing. So you can sit there. That's going to be a nice main bit, right? So, I'm wondering, I think I might need another branch, so let's try and go, we'll try and go for this one. <laughs> Do you like how I say try? Because <laughs> it's rather small. It's not the easiest. So, but we can do it, we can do it. I think it's because I'm a bit calmer actually doing this, because I know when I've done it before, I've, I've just sort of gone in like a bullet again, and just like, oh yes, I'm just going to do this. Just, it'll work, it'll work, no problem and it hasn't so it's just you know a bit of time I think just you've got to just take your time breathe as they say right let's see if we can join these bits together because I've got two bits here that's not okay I'm actually really pleased with how this is working out And I really can't wait to do this journal. I'm going to do another video. I, I, I was sort of in two months whether to do like the step by step video again. And I don't know if you like that. I mean I enjoy doing it. But I don't want to sort of keep showing you the same thing. Because it will get to me. I think it would get boring. And listening to me droning on and on and on. It must drive you absolutely bananas. So... And then I thought, well, I'm going to do it sort of different this time because it's not just a case of uh, cutting out the board and then just sort of covering it with the papers. Um, 
mask I'll show you what, I've, what I'm going to do um, and then I will do another video but it's I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because there's going to be some drying in it and if you are new and you're watching this um, I warn you now I don't edit my videos um, I've sort of said this from day one what you see is what you get with me um, anything can happen you could hear dogs barking, cats shouting, um, yeah, just anything. And if I forget what I'm doing halfway through, or I drop stuff, or I'm on the machine, or I'm uh, drying something, you will hear all those noises because I want to keep my videos real and show you that this is real life. I know it can be a bit sort of tedious and people don't really want that and I'm sorry and to be quite honest I don't really understand editing um, so yeah my videos can be long um, I try not to do too many long videos if, if I can help it but you can just speed them up that way or just mute it and you don't have to listen to me um, but yeah I just I, I've, I've sort of enjoyed doing the videos and like I said, I mean, everybody that subscribes to my channel, oh, you you are amazing. You really are amazing. And I can't thank you enough for all your support. Oh, come on. Please don't let me down now. Please. Please. Go on, be nice. That's it. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, don't do that. Oh, that was close. Ooh, look at that. I love that. Yeah, and that will get it all tidied up because I can trim all around that. But I think that is really nice. So that will end up sort of going off one of these bits. Right, I'm just thinking what else. So I've done the big bit and I don't want to do it with one of them because the journal's not going to be that big. I know I've got this bit. Could maybe do that. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Pick up the bits of clay. But as I said, if you are using a mould and it is sticking a little bit, I just use I just cornstarch. I mean, I've got a, a little jar. And all you do is just get it on a brush. I've got a soft brush. And then I just sort of dab it in, tip the excess out, and it works fine. Um, and obviously that doesn't affect um, how you, you know, uh, it doesn't affect the mould being... I think I need to get a little bit more clay. I do. Yeah, and these, the packets of clay last for ages. I think I paid about eight ninety nine for mine. Um, I know you can actually get um, coloured ones, but I like using just white, and then you've got the chance to paint it if you want to, um, or you can just leave it white. Um, I think you can do all the things sorry my bracelet's rattling again um, I think you can do I'm not sure actually thinking about it if you can actually mix paint into it I'm not sure might have to try that or ink I think you can because it's not it's not a you know like some of them um I'm just read it on the packet to see if you can actually do it. Uh, yeah, I think you can. You can, yeah, you can add dyes, inks, or powder to colour. So that's a good idea. But I don't want to do that on that on this one because I've got an idea what I'm doing. Um, but that's even more that you can do. So that's perfect, really. Um, like I said, I don't use a lot of the air drying clay, but this might give me ideas now to use some of the air drying clay for this it, the only thing is obviously it's just a little bit time consuming just doing the molds and that sort of thing but i mean you can sit there and make a batch of whatever because once they're dry they will last for well years because i know i've got some and i'll actually show you what i've what i've actually got and i've had for about four years um believe it or not and that is not a lie 
I've had it I had them sitting in a drawer because I had a drawer just designated for air drying clay as you do um yeah and they sat in there because I had a, a weekend where I decided I was going to do all these air drying clays because I was going to use them all on my mixed media projects that I was doing and do you know what yeah that's why I've still got them in the drawer because I never did use them so I thought I am now going to do what I say and I want to use them as I'm going and I think it's kind of working hopefully anyway <laughs> I think I need to add a little bit oh actually I could take some of this off okay let's take that pop that in there that's the good thing about this you can just take from a bit and add which is really really good I hope everybody's been okay and being crafty and got over over Christmas now um, as you do I think everybody's sort of in the same same but it's sort of like January is nearly over but it's it's sort of dragged as well you know it's it's one of them January always seems to go fast because we're always using we usually decorating or you know something like that we always wait till sort of after christmas and you know oh yes yeah, so let's decorate this decorate that and one thing leads to another and it's like where do you stop um, but this year we've not really done anything like that which was nice so yeah that definitely sort of helped i think that looks really nice really nice it's not really really nice because i never have nothing i do is really really nice i mean i'm not like that right let's see if we can get you out of here i'm gonna go for the thin bit first i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing okay these are really really good and the other thing with these molds as well if you don't do air drying clay you can actually use them for food but just don't use air drying clay after, obviously. Um, because they're... Oh, I think this is graded. No, this is graded. This is... Not graded. It, I was going to say, the things are graded that you can actually use them for that. Ooh, that is really pretty. I like that. I think that's beautiful. I love the, the pattern on it. So that can lie flat. And one thing about it, because it's so light and so pliable, when you actually do stick it on something, you can sort of put a bit of weight on it and it shouldn't mark it when it's dry. Obviously, if the thing's not too, too heavy. Um, I think we'll do... We'll do another flower and we'll do a bud. Although we haven't got any leaves. So we might do a leaf as well. A couple of leaves. Like I, said, I don't want to do a lot. That's my only. <laughs> it's getting addictive though. This is the problem. So we'll do a leaf. Yeah, and definitely. If you're new here, I, I start talking about one thing and then I go off on something else. So sorry about that. Oh, and I apologise a lot as well because I always think I'm boring people. So you'll have to just bear with me and I've been told off about apologising <laughs> but that's just me I'm afraid I've always been like it and it's a bit hard to change I think right I'm just stuff these in and do it all together I think I'm just deciding on what bird to use because on these I've got three birds and I might I don't think I want that one because it's sort of like looking down. That one's quite pretty, but I quite like that one. So I might do one of each and see which one works better on the front of the journal when I do it. Because um, I don't really want to sort of like get to the point where I do the journal and then realise that I should have done the other the other bird because then I've got to wait for that to dry. And I don't really want to do that. I'm trying to prepare everything. Um, 
and this way I can do my other videos um, and show you like, the process that we're going to be doing. It's going to get a little bit messy. Um, but I've sort of been thinking about doing this style of journal for a while um, and I sort of bit the bullet and thought right now's the time to do it. Let's just do it. I'm going to do, what did I say I was going to do? Let's do a board. Let's do that. And I'll do another flower. And I love this rolling pin that I I got because um, at Christmas I was uh, well before Christmas I actually did this is why I was decided to do some more clay stuff I actually done some clay um, ornaments for our Christmas decorations for a change um, but I wanted them to be the same depth and that's one thing that oh, it used to drive me mad because I could not I could never get this, the right depth and it would either be too thick at one end too thin and that didn't help with the drying because obviously one bit of dry quicker than the other and you're kind of in a situation then where it's like it's not you know it's not going to work so I ended up um finding somebody in this says oh you, you know you can just use a, a rolling pin if you get the the sugar craft what like you know that you use for the icing and that sort of thing because you can get the bands for the end so you've got the different thicknesses and that was total game changer for that one total game changer why I never thought of that before I do not know because I've done baking you know I know rolling pins and that's why I knew that you could you know I've seen these but never thought you could use them for this so you learn something new every day as the saying right um yeah I think I think just one of these would be fine so that's another one that's a bit better and I think they're beautiful and the thickness I mean they are a bit thick but that's fine I don't mind that because this journal is definitely going to be a bit different and then we've got a leaf and you don't have to have them that thick but I think it's nice and then a bud and I think that would be quite nice actually well that bud's quite nice I might do another couple of buds actually that was really nice I don't know if you've seen that just hold it up shoe sure. real. how do oh, sorry how detailed is that i mean that's beautiful isn't it so i'm going to do another board i hope this video is not too long for you because all i've done is rattled on as usual so sorry about that i'm trying to hurry up i just thought it's something a little bit different you know and it's something I like to do. I mean, I think sort of like later, later in the year, I might, I might do a bit of mixed media. Um, because I'll, I'll show, like I said, I'll show you me uh, things that I've got. Yeah, I think that that's going to be enough for them, right? But um, yeah, I'll show you the clay. That I've actually already got. Um, okay. And I'd like to use it because it's just sitting in a box at the minute. And I'm not really doing anything with it, so that doesn't really help when you want to be doing stuff, does it? Now, I've got to admit, I did do a bird before and I did argue with it because it didn't work the way that I wanted it to. Now I don't know if it, I was doing something wrong or what. I've got no idea. So this will definitely be a bit of a challenge. But I think I'm going to do this and see if I can... See it's got no problem back coming out because it keeps slipping out and this is... This is the bit that I can't understand because with the other mold, and these, this is a premium mold as well. So I can't understand 
why it sort of slips about but it, I mean that's in one way that's not a bad thing because obviously it'll come out the mold fine but when you're trying to fill the mold and it's you're bringing the clay out with you as you go in is not exactly helpful so goodness for nails that's all I can say <laughs> but you could use a knife um, you know like a little craft knife or something like that it's just I find this easier okay hope for that oops don't do the beak oh dear don't do the beak let's just roll it a little bit more okay I think that's about level and also using the rolling pin it keeps it flat as well so when you are putting it on a surface you haven't got to worry about any um, bumps on the back to stick down so yeah that's definitely um, helpful on that right let's see I think that needed to go yeah I thought that needed to go a bit more right fingers crossed this works okay that did work and I'm quite pleased with that if you want to that's not bad I like that one but I can't make my mind up which one I want whether I want that one or I want this one I think it's this one that I wanted so I'm kind of hoping this works a lot better I've so got enough clay out no I think I need a bit more I need a little bit more mix it together right. so what have you all been up to? Are you doing crafty things? Are you in the middle of doing anything? Anything interesting? I'd love to know. I'm nosy like that, that's the problem. No, I'm not. I'd just like to know if anybody else is doing anything crafty. It's nice to sort of hear, hear what other people do kind of get stuck in a rut and I, I know there was a lady that commented on uh, my video on one of the groups and she sort of you know she likes being organized um and sort of having everywhere tidy and I'm the same but I sort of said as well that also can be a downfall because you don't you don't know where to start when you're doing a project you don't you feel inspired but you don't feel inspired because you your room's so tidy or your area's so tidy and I always I find I do struggle quite a bit when I want to do something um, and I don't really want to bring anything out um, and I always find yeah that's kind of a downfall for me I don't know if anybody else I'd like I'd, I'd love to know if anybody else sort of feels like that when they're doing stuff Because it's, I mean, I'm so, I really am lucky that, you know, I've got a room to craft in. But I never, I never used to have. Um, I used, years and years ago, um, we used to make cards. And my making cards was a little fold-up table that I used to use in the living room. And I used to have a small set of plastic drawers. And that was it. That's all I had. Um... But eventually I sort of overgrew it and I went out into our shed but that was okay in the summer in the winter it was a little bit cold and then the roof leaked and I lost a lot of my cardstock which didn't really help so yeah there was a lot of that and some of the cardstock wasn't cheap because it was like um, the pearl card and in those days the pearl card I could never get low price it was really expensive um, and it was like sort of good, you know good quality uh, card stock so yeah finding one morning that the roof had leaked in the shed was not good and there was a printer out there as well so that didn't last that went as well um, yeah so eventually we stopped doing cards um, and like I said this is just over 10 plus years of collecting stuff and 
we used to have a business that we used to do sewing um, so that was completely different to what I do now but I do obviously I do sewing for uh, the tags and that sort of thing so I'm definitely not scared of a sewing machine or an overlocker I know a lot of people don't like overlockers or um, I think in America you call them surges I think um, yeah definitely not scared to put my foot down on them the thing that does my head in with them is when the cotton unthreads if anybody's got one they'll know where I'm coming from because um, they can be a nightmare right you are sticking and I'm not liking the fact that you're sticking come on please I really don't want to have to do this one again okay come on just a matter of taking your time to get the moulds out I know you can f sometimes flip it just flip it over and it should come out but I always think wanted it to but it's kind of done it I just got a bit of trimming to do so that's I like that one yeah I think that's definitely going to be the one that goes on it how beautiful are they I mean yeah I think they just they are the lovely right so that's that's what I'm going to be doing from the front of the journal right so I'm going to put them to the side um, put that back in there I'll put them to the I'll show you the <laughs> the clay that I actually have had um, in my in my trusty little box. This you can hear the difference, um, but yeah, I made these about four or five years ago, and you can see that it's rough because I never had um, the ruler. And when you and also the other thing as well, when I was trying to lift it up, I never put anything on the top. So when you sort of try and lift it, it's stuck. So that's like the knife trying to get it up. But these are all the different things that I sort of made. Um, yeah, and I've no idea what I'm going to do with them. I made like little tags and um, these these little heart. Now I actually like these. I think they're beautiful. And. If I remember rightly, when I've done them, I'm trying to find the other one. There's, I think there's about four of them. These are actually, the impression on this is actually lace. And that was all it was. I just roll it. I just, yeah, just box standard rolling pin. And I just rolled it on it and then just lifted it off. And it gave this amazing impression. But like you, see, like you can hear, they are hard. So, you know, they're really, really good. When I done my video of my room, I said about I had the melt pot um, that I got years and years ago, which I still use, that you can use with the ultra thick um, embossing powders, or even just ordinary embossing powders I think you can use. And it kind of gives you like a, a resiny sort of product. And this is them. Um, I have a little fairy door, and this this one is actually just all bits um that was left over from the melt pot which was like white um white embossing powder gold uh silver and it just made like a bit of a, a marbly sort of i think it's beautiful because it's got such a shine to it and the metallic really comes through so yeah i've got them and obviously i've got the gold as well um and i've even got little frames I mean, they've picked up the, the dust off of the air drying clay. But these are the things that I've done. You know, I've, I've kind of done a bit of everything. But I don't do anything with them. That's the problem. So I'm trying now to think of the things to use so I can use them up. And I can still use the melt pot. But the problem is you can't really buy the melt pot anywhere now. Because it's it had been discontinued. I think, I think every now and then on like eBay or somewhere like that, you might be able to drop on and sort of pick it up. Um, but you could also just use um, a glue gun in moulds. You can I've, I've done that as well, um, and I know you can get loads of different sorts of um, sticks, like the glitter sticks and that sort of thing. So that's changing the subject. 
over now. Right, so that's going to be drying, and I'll just clear my desk. Um, oh, I managed to fix my top. I did double side it down, and it works. Right. This is the paper pad that I'm going to be using. It's the Stumperia one. Now, I actually got this in Happy Mail, um, which was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And I'm hoping that the lady that sent it met is watching, so thank you. And I am going to use it, so I hope you. I hope what I do, I'm, it, I make it proud of it. Um, the only problem is, I've bought myself another one because I know that I'm going to use quite a bit of this and to be honest with you I didn't want to use it all because it was happy mail so um yeah I did buy myself another one um so I'll watch this space but when you look through it my original plan was the fabrics that I'd actually bought that was going to be for the journal and let me show you if you haven't seen my Instagram post or my I think it, I put it on Facebook as well. I actually bought these fabrics um, that was going to be, I was going to do one in a red and one in the white. But I don't think it's going to do the papers justice because these papers are absolutely amazing. They're beautiful. So what I'm going to do, and <laughs> I've kind of <laughs> timed my videos really good because I need to cut out all of this and obviously I can't show you what I'm using because that's the front page so it's kind of worked in my favour doing it this way um, but I'm going to literally cut up the book um, because I'm going to use all these this panel here is going to be too big for the size of the journal so I think what I'm going to do is maybe cut it in half um, and then try and do something around it. I might put a bit of gold embossing powder around it just to sort of finish it off because it's not going to have a border at the bottom. But that could be in a video because I'm going to do hopefully a video for ephemera. Now I really struggle on ephemera, I've got to admit that is one of my biggest challenges believe it or not. I can make, I can knock out a journal I have no issue doing covers or the uh, signatures, anything like that. But it's the ephemera that I cannot get my head round and I really, really struggle. So I've tried doing videos with ephemera before and it hasn't really worked. So I'm kind of I'm trying, trying to show you the whole book. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and do it again. So you're going to have to bear with me and it's a learning curve, a big time format. but why not let you suffer with me as well um yeah I, I don't know why i've got i mean i've got literally everything you can think of but when i sit down to try and do it no i can't get my head around doing some of the things so i need to do some off camera first and then hopefully sort of bring it in so i'm going to cut the elements that i want obviously out here but i've got journey cards and the papers are going to be amazing right i'm not going to show you the whole book because then it's kind of going to spoil the surprise when you see the actual finished journal so that's going to be what i'm using right the cover and i will be coming to do a video for this so it could be a long video for this one the journal's going to be a bit a little bit bigger than what i usually do not a lot just a little bit um so what it's going to be is um i'm going to cover it with just some straightforward uh paper probably printer paper or something like that but then i'm going to cover it in tissue paper now luckily enough obviously because mum's got her own business she has a lot of off cuts of the tissue paper so oops i've got them <laughs> um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover the whole thing in tissue paper and that's the thing that i'm not sure how i'm going to do it because it's going to it i can dry it on on the camera but it's going to be in my heat gun and obviously i'm not going to cut out the sort of like sound or anything like that so you might have to just dull the sound down or skip past it or whatever um or a part do it and then I, so i don't know I, I don't know what's going to be easy yet but but i can sort that that's you know that's my issue sort of thing 
but then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint the whole thing black um, and then I'm going to by that time hopefully my clay has is dry and ready for sort of sort of trimming and that I'm, I'm not going to do that on camera because you don't need to see me sort of trimming around that um but then i'm going to put that on the journal the signatures are going to be white pages the dreaded white page but i don't mind white white pages to be quite honest with you it doesn't bother me um but there's going to be some elements in it that i might i don't know whether to sort of do it on camera or how I'll do it on camera because I've got my mink uh, foil machine that I got last year because I had to do a custom journal I didn't really want to buy it but the customer wanted gold and I, I had no other way of sort of adding gold to it so I'm thinking of maybe using it to make some elements for the f signatures I don't know yet I've, that's kind of an idea that I've, I've sort of come up with but watch this space because I'm I will be back I'm going to do like I said I'm going to do the video I'm not going to sort of show you how I do the paper because you've seen how I cover a journal um but I will show you how I sort of do the tissue paper um but that's going to be the oriental journal in the process so I'm hoping it's going to work out the way that I want it to but I'm going to bring you on the journey with me so if it doesn't work you can see my failures um and I think that's all the fun of it but apart from that I just wanted to show you sort of what I'm you know the air drying clay basically so I hope you've kind of enjoyed what I've done um if not sorry so that's you know that's me <laughs> um and like I say thank you for everybody that's that's joined me you know you yeah I've said it times and times again you you're amazing and I can't thank you enough for the support that you show and your comments and you know just everything it truly does mean a lot it really does um and I'm not just saying that because I'm that's not me um and obviously if you've got any questions if I can help you by all means you know I love chatting to you I love to know you know what you're sort of up to and if you want to try something or if there's anything you want me to do because that would be interesting if you yeah if anybody would like me to sort of try and sort of show you something i could maybe do it you know i don't know <laughs> i know there's little people that do but it's worth it if you want to have a laugh at you know whether i can do the thing or not but anyway right i'm going to shut up now because i've waffled on enough and bored you to tears enough so i'm going to go and i will see you hopefully very soon so bye for now and take care bye bye <laughs>